So Manus was just announced yesterday. If you haven't heard, this is a first, this is the first general AI agent that can automatically do things for you. Now this includes things like plan a trip or analyze stocks or interactive course on momentum theorem and so on. So now a bunch of these engineers got together and they thought this is invite only. So why not go ahead and build an open version of this? Because end of the day, this is essentially a water wrapper around a large language model with the capability to take screenshots and apply these screenshots. So in a way, it's like computer use, but the functioning version of computer use. So if you go to open Manus, this is the repo. And this does pretty much all these same things that Manus does right now. So they've uploaded a simple demo on the GitHub repo. And you can see this has been blowing up overnight. It already has 23,000 stars. And this was only launched on Friday, 7th March. It's been pricking up like crazy. It uses our anthropic computer use and browser use, which was the idea behind building open Manus or rather Manus in the first place, like I mentioned. So let's quickly take a look at the demo if we can. So this is the demo and you can see the developers are trying to run something here. Thorough SEO audit on a specific website. That's what they're doing. And I'm guessing this is doing an audit in the background. So I'm going to just wait and see how this goes. The file is ready. Data is stored into the specific file and this is an MDX file and this automatically did perform some sort of technical analysis on the web page and let's try this use case on our end as well. So I'm going to pause this. I'm going to close this, go back to open Manus and follow these instructions. So I'm going to use Conda unless I run into any problems. So let's go ahead and follow this Conda method. In order to run this, you will need Python installed in your computer along with the Conda environment. So you, you will need to set up these dependencies in order to make these work in your computer. So it wants to install a bunch of these packages and I'm going to do yes. All of these packages will only be installed in the Conda environment. So I don't need to worry about installing these globally. You can see in fact, the Python version itself is also going to be the version that we specify here it's not going to be using the predefined version in our computers so if you want you can skip the python installation part and quickly go ahead and directly just run this install after installing conda so now that installation is completed and the environment is active let's clone this repo and go to the and then install the requirements you can also do this in your visual studio code or cursor if you would want but i'm just going to run the command here because i'm running it through terminal this will take quite some time because this will download a bunch of these different libraries. But once this is done, we can skip to the configuration part. So I'm just going to wait for it to complete downloading and post that I'm going to open my cursor to set up rest of the instructions here. Now, depending on your internet speed, this might take quite some time. So be prepared for that. It allows you to use the browser in this space, Chrome X and in this specific case, the operating systems. Now note that computer use does restrict the use of password based flows. Keep that in mind, unless obviously they are using computer use as just an inspiration and they may probably, since they are using GPT-4 or here, I'm thinking maybe they use something else, right? So I'm just going to experiment with that as well. Once the installation is completed. So let me just quickly check. You can see it's downloading the rest of the packages and it, like I said, can take quite some time. Note that this is still not the best thing to do for things like social media automation. You may probably want to use all the social for that. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by that. If I go to LinkedIn and if I select some text here, once you click here, this will automatically start the engagement process for you. So this is like an agent that is on your desktop and automates your social media engagement. But that's something that may not be relevant based on the use case that you guys may have. So either way, I'm just going to wait for the installation to complete and then I'm going to open cursor by doing cursor and then space dot. Or you can also open Visual Studio Code if you use that as your preferred method to write code. Now note that you will absolutely need your OpenAI API key because this will uh, use the vision capabilities and the capabilities of OpenAI. So I have cloned the project and this is how it looks right now. I'm going to open the terminal, go back to our code and I'm going to run this one command here, which will essentially create a copy of the config, which I will need in this case. So let's just create the copy for config.toml. If you open this, you can see there's a new copy here. And then in here, you will need to pass your OpenAI API key. So you can see it does accept or rather uses Claude 3.5 on it, but with the base URL of OpenAI. So I'm just going to change this to GPT-4.0. GPT-4.0. And then for LLM vision model as well, I'm going to do the same thing. GPT-4.0. All right. 
and then I'm going to copy my opening API key quickly and I'm going to add it. I'm going to quickly paste my key and for the vision model as well, I'm going to quickly paste the key. All right. So I think my setup is completed. I don't really need the Azure setup. You can see this is commented out. I'm going to remove this and now let's go back to our repo here and let's quickly run this command. So I think we are not in the environment correctly, which is why it's failing, but let's open main.py and directly try running this from our environment. So in order to set that up, you need to do command P and choose this environment as your recommended environment. And you can see it's asking for your prompt. Do a deep SEO analysis for Holly social. Let's see how this works. This is the first time I'm running this. So my face, but it's, you know, finding or looking through and it is deciding which tools to use and it's looking for chromium to open the browser which did not exist so it failed so you may need browsers or rather chromium or firefox in order to make these work it is interesting because it's this has already decided the number of steps to run which is 30 in this case and it's automatically executing these one after the other which is actually very interesting i did not see that coming this actually looks better usually open source while is awesome sometimes because lack of developer support and stuff like that it does not necessarily deliver but this looks like it's heading in the right direction because if by only or rather if only by my open api key i can do things like these it's awesome right one interesting thing that i would like to call out is that it's actually also deciding which tools to use for deep seo analysis but it also then recognizes that some of these tools might require access provided to provide detailed insights so it's now going to look at an alternative method which is to look at page speed insights and review the content manually if you have access to seo tools use them for detailed analysis so it does decide the action that it needs to take depending on the tool or rather the circumstance that it has been placed in uh, now at this point it's executing step number 22 out of 30 and I, i'm not gonna lie this is actually impressive way more impressive than i thought it would be as an open source project so i'm just gonna wait for a few more minutes here see how the output finally looks like you can see it's also executing the step 24 right now and it's also also writing scripts python scripts in order to analyze the files for you as far as the tool use goes you, you notice that it's also being also looking at things like python execute google search as the tools that it automatically does have access to in the background does look like a great way for you to you know automate certain boring research based tasks by looking the web writing scripts and then also running the browser itself without you having to write without you having to write and run these scripts you can see the analysis is complete it only did a technical seo analysis for example a response time includes meta tags for description keywords author and open graph uses a variety of headers h1 h2 h3 for content common keywords include ollie ai comment and social recommend to use tools like ahrefs and samrush for detailed analysis and then conduct a detailed backlink analysis using seo tools and continuously monitor and update seo strategies so i'd say this is pretty good it's not too bad i'm gonna try and run one more thing for social media can you find me top gen ai news and create a presentation from these pieces of news that you find let's see how it goes i think there are certain python packages that may be able to generate presentations for you and i'm interested to see how it goes so i'm gonna just retry this yep it looks like it just stops i'm gonna type exit and i'm gonna run this again i'm gonna paste the same command and this time you can see it's starting from scratch for some very weird reason it does randomly stop at some point and you will have to then trigger it by restarting the app again by doing Control c on windows and Control c on mac to stop the app and then restart when it's ready just gonna wait this out and see how the final output so see how the final output looks like this looks like more of a summary and also the data is incorrect it's looking at the last trained data set of openai which is october 2023 and it did stop and i'm gonna say let's just quickly debug why it stopped stuck state duplicate responses consider new strategies avoiding repeating ineffective paths already so i think the goal here for the model was to just pull out the news which it did fine but i would have loved if it would have made a presentation so i'm going to try it again and this time i'm going to say for 2025 and apparently you can see this does accept like a follow-up prompt because initially the steps were from 13 out of 30 and when i added a follow-up prompt it started from 14 so i don't know if that's the follow-up or if that's a bug with the app and this time also it looks like it did pull out 
the 2025 news but this isn't a people it seems to be more like so i don't think it's there when it comes to what the open ai's or rather what manus does right now and i'm gonna quickly go to manus and see what else we can do so these are some of the use cases and i'm gonna see some of the more use cases here i don't think these are use cases these are submissions so i'm gonna scroll a bit up and deeply analyze tesla stocks let's do that let's do that okay first let's run the app and then let's Let's run it for our current prompt right now. See how this goes. So apparently it did go on till step 30, but because it hit the 30 steps, it just stopped at the very last point where it was supposed to save the results in the file saver. So I really don't know at this point what I should be doing in order to make this work, but it does look like it has stopped and not moving forward from this point. So I tried running it again and this is how the output looks like. This is it. I still think it's way too far when it comes to calling or rather us calling it like a true general agent, but this seems to be the direction that it's heading in right now maybe we want to use different set of large language models to make it work better thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one